Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I created this look and posted a picture on my Instagram. So some of you guys seem to like it. So I said, hey, why not just go ahead and finish up this video? And this is my current summer glow look. So as always, I'm starting off on a fresh, clean face, trying to fix my crazy little hairs. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply on some lip balm. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on to my brows after picking all my eye boogers out. For some reason, I was just having an eyebrow block. Like, I just could not get my eyebrows on as perfect and as easy as I normally do. So, you may see me struggling a little bit in this clip here. I feel like using a wax-based pencil can be pretty quick in filling in my eyebrows just because my eyebrows are really thin, they're very light. So with a wax waste pencil, it kind of helps lay down the hair. And I do love using concealer to shape my brows just because it kind of acts as an eraser to kind of hide the mistakes that I made. And it's really good because it helps kind of thin out the areas that is needed. So I've been working on my brows for like, I don't know how long, but the sun just goes away and I'm like, Ugh, what is going on with me? I'm having a eyebrow block going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my eyelids, get ready for eyeshadows. Gonna use a soft matte pinky color just as a base and also to set my eyelid primer. Then I'm gonna go in with this soft peachy color and I'm just gonna warm up the crease. Still using my favorite peach palette because I just love the transition colors. It's really soft, really peachy, corally. It's really good for the summer. And this look, I'm just really incorporating bright eyes and just really fresh, glowy skin. So I'm not really going crazy with the eyeshadows in this look. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful shimmery color. I'm gonna place this onto my lids. And it's like so pigmented, I love this shade. The, the textures of these shadows are really nice too. So now I'm gonna go in with a chocolate brown color and this is gonna go ahead and just fill in my outer crease just to warm up that eyelid area. I'm also gonna bring it up a little bit into the crease to define it just a bit. By this time I don't have that much shadow so I'm gonna rock it back and forth left to right. Now I'm going to take a blending brush and buff everything out so it's nice and soft looking. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and get them ready for mascara. I haven't used this guy in a while but this is the Bobbi Brown mascara. I forgot the name of it so I'll go ahead and link everything down in the info box. I'm going to take this shimmery color and highlight the inner parts of my eyes. And of course, my brow bone highlight. I felt like the eyeshadows didn't have any dimension on the outer corners in the crease, so I'm just going to go in softly with a black color. And I'm just lifting up my eyes and letting that brush rock into that crease. As you can see, I'm not bringing it down to my lids. I just really want to highlight that crease bone right in the center. 
It's gonna look like I have a harsh crease line right there, but I'm going to buff that out as soon as I pack that color into the desired area I like. And the key to the technique is just to work really, really slow so it doesn't get muddy or all over the place. And adding more is always easy than to remove. So now I want to take a soft brown color and just kind of mix the two colors there. And I'm going to go back onto the lid as some of it did come off as I was blending my shadows. Now onto lashes. I know. Finally using a brand new pair. As usual, I'm just going to place the lashes as close to my lash line as possible so it looks super, super natural. I really love these wispy lashes because they are demi and they just look so natural and soft. They are a bit long, but I do like that. <laughs> So now I want to work on concealing with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to use a buffing brush and just buffing it into the center of my face where it has the most discoloration. So for foundation, I'm going to mix two different things. I'm going to use a Bronzy Glow Primer with my Givenchy Matte Foundation. This is going to give me that beautiful soft summery glow, still sheer where my skin is still peeking through. But of course using the Tarte Shape Tape, it's going to hide the dark circles and all the other imperfections. So I'm just going to blend it down everywhere and making sure my neckline doesn't have that line of demarcation. So I'm going to take a little bit of powder, just one application, because I don't want to matte out this look. I still want to have that soft glowy look. And I'm just going to use a little bit of bronzer just to give a little dimension into my face. What is left over, I'm gonna contour the nose and highlighting. I had no idea which color to use, so I'm just gonna use one, two, three. <laughs> this is the Becca highlighter, and she is known for her highlighting stuff, and it's just so good. Oh, there's a lash on my case right there. So I'm gonna use my favorite YSL lip gloss. It's a nice coral color, great for the summer, non sticky whatsoever, and it smells so good. So I'm going to go back to my lashes taking this Givenchy eyeliner and I'm just going to line the little skin peeking through or even lash glue. So I'm going to take this brightening pencil by NYX. It's actually for your brows but I'm using it for my under eyes just to brighten. And lastly, a Make a Geek Lime color just right under my eyes to brighten. And that is it for my look on my summer glow. Nice and easy with some lashes, it just bronzes up the face and my coral lips. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on my next one. Talk to you later, have a great summer, bye!